For nearly two years, Stability AI has been the keystone of open source generative AI, surpassing the abilities of DALI and many other closed source tools incredibly fast. However, the last few months has been kind of rocky for them. They've had their CEO Imad depart to work on a crypto project. They've also been in the last few weeks uh, in the midst of their corporate restructuring, have seemingly been skipping out, paying massive GPU bills to Amazon and Coreweave. The last few weeks was not looking good. We weren't really sure where Stable Diffusion 3 would be, or if we'd ever see it given the new restructuring of their company, with big questions looming as to whether or not Stability AI would ever actually make a profit or even break even. But today we got some incredible news with Stable Diffusion 3 and Stable Diffusion 3 Turbo, which we didn't maybe expect, being released on Stability AI's developer platform API. And there are also some really interesting announcements here with Fireworks AI that specifically lead back to their infrastructure woes. So how good is this model? How much does it cost? Can you use it right now? Why haven't we seen the weights yet, and what does the future look like for Stability AI? Welcome to AI Flux, let's get into it. So this is the announcement we were greeted with today on Twitter. Basically this says, today we are pleased to announce the availability of Stable Diffusion 3 and Stable Diffusion 3 Turbo on the Stability AI Developer Platform API. We have partnered with Fireworks AI, the fastest and most reliable API platform in the market to deliver these models. And what's interesting is we know that Stability AI has kind of struggled with their API performance in the past. In keeping with our commitment to open generative AI, we aim to make the model weights available for self-hosting with Stability AI membership in the near future. And this is something we haven't seen before, requiring this Stability AI membership to actually get the model weight. So maybe this is some way they're trying to eke out a little bit more revenue to make their business model look more savvy and maybe get some more investor money to actually pay those past due GPU bills. And they show one prompt here, which is awesome artwork of a wizard on top of a mountain. He's creating the big text Stable Diffusion 3 API with magic, magic text at dawn, sunrise. And what's kind of cool here is clearly Stable Diffusion is still incredibly capable when it comes to creating these massive scenes with text and they're more cohesive than ever. They also showed a few more demos here. So this one being with a couch on the top of a Brooklyn apartment with what looks like a mixture or a hybrid of uh, San Francisco with the Salesforce tower and New York in the background, which is kind of interesting. They also have this turtle riding the subway in New York, uh, someone with a TV on their head. This is all very interesting. I think it's curious that we got this before kind of a research preview. And I will say the pricing is kind of wild and they've sort of omitted certain features that they promised in their initial preview that they released just a few months ago. So the release page on Stability AI's website is to be frank, incredibly sparse. They mentioned here that Stable Diffusion 3 and Stable Diffusion 3 Turbo are now available on their API platform and that they're using Fireworks AI to do uh, all of the API uh, orchestration. Another thing they say here is in keeping with our commitment to open generative AI, they'll make the models available with this AI membership from Stability in the near future. And of course, near future always means kind of a funny thing when we hear this from Stability, but at least we know that this model still exists and that in theory they plan to release it, even it's kind of a slight slightly monetized barrier to entry, which of course will mean nothing as soon as all of this is on hugging face, but maybe they're trying to push forward kind of a new licensing model for this. So they mentioned their research paper here. They say, uh, as revealed in the Stable Diffusion 3 research paper, which I'll link below, this model is equal to or outperforms state-of-the-art text-to-image generation systems, such as Dolly 3, Midjourney V6, in both typography, prompt adherence, and human preference evaluations. They say that their new multimodal diffusion transformer architecture, which is without doubt state of the art, uh, uses separate sets of weights for image and language representations, which improves text understanding and spelling capabilities, at least in comparison to older versions of Stable Diffusion. While the model is only available in the API today, they're currently working for an advanced release for its open release. And again, they mention this Stability AI membership, which I'm gonna show you guys a bit more about in just a bit. Uh, they say again, to learn more about deployment options, please contact us here. To get started with the Stable Diffusion 3 API, visit the documentation page. And they show us some more uh, benchmarks here. So they have some sort of paintings. They have some actual uh, like carpeted knitting examples here. Now, what's interesting is why did they partner with Fireworks AI given how many discounted A100s they've been getting um, seemingly an unlimited number of. I also know some people who work here and what's crazy is Stability AI also gets to undercut the spot pricing for GPUs on Amazon AWS, which are completely insane if you've ever looked into them. 
So they say with Fireworks AI, we're able to deliver an enterprise grade API solution with 99.9% .9 service availability. So clearly they're pushing for more reliability. They're pushing to have more of a robust kind of Dolly-esque robustness around their service, which is kind of interesting. Always uh, safety is mentioned here because uh, this is the thin kind of skirting line we have to deal with in 2024 with generative AI, especially with all the talk of government regulation targeting these tools, especially rolling into an election year. But I'm not going to go into this too much because this is basically the same spiel we get from every company when they do this. So what is this Stability AI membership and how much will this model actually cost to use? This is a new product uh, in sense being offered by Stability AI. And the idea here is this is kind of like Adobe Creative Cloud, but for all things stability. And they say here that uh, you can use all the different models hosted online. This includes image models, video models, language models, and 3D models. Although curiously, uh, there's actually no API endpoint currently for Stable Diffusion 3 that does 3D models, but it's interesting enough. And they offer some really interesting tiers here. So basically, uh, this helps them gauge uh, how quickly your GPU response time will be. It's actually really similar to like a mid-journey membership. And what's interesting is they distinctly give some commercial access and some not commercial access. So for free, you can't use these things commercially. If you have a professional membership, you can use them commercially. And they don't really go into what these enterprise features are. Maybe it's that they're faster, that you get more parallelization uh, with your uh, jobs that you submit. There are also some really interesting FAQs here. They mentioned here that only these core models are available, which is kind of interesting. And their definition of these is basically anything that was released up until today, which I think is sort of curious. So we'll see uh, how, how this kind of restructuring continues to go forward. There is also um, now what they're calling a stable image core, which is the actual API that you use to access Stable Diffusion 3, which is kind of interesting. And the, the pricing is also really kind of wild. So you basically get no free credits after you make your um, account or you have this developer access. So um, tokenomics in generative AI and in LLMs, I think is a really interesting concept. And I don't mean in terms of like the obnoxious term for um, like, you know, crypto coins. So what's interesting is the efficiency and relative cost for Stable Diffusion 3 is roughly 10 times the cost of SDXL when used through the same API. So the question is, you know, is this much more computationally intensive, even though their research points to their model being much more efficient? Is this more of an issue of just availability and their availability of GPUs going down since they've had to basically farm out um, the deployment of this so that they're no longer directly involved. Regardless of that, $10 roughly equates to 10,000 credits. That's around seven cents per image generated. And the pricing gets even more interesting when you look at generating things that aren't just images, things like outpainting and inpainting. So at least with Stable Diffusion 3 Turbo, um, it's a little bit cheaper at around four cents per image. Obviously, like, like I said, Stable Diffusion 3 is around seven cents per image. Upscaling to 4K is a hefty 25 cents per image. In painting is around 3 cents an image. Out painting is around 4 cents an image. And video, again, not as expensive as upscaling, is, is around 20 cents per video. And they haven't really given us a distinct duration. I think right now it's not even 30 seconds, maybe just five to 10 seconds. So I'm curious what you guys think. The images coming out of this are pretty impressive. I wouldn't say they're strikingly better than the existing models. I wonder if this is going to have an effect, at least with this new licensing model, on how people are fine-tuning these, how people are um, posting modifications of these models and quantizations on, on Hugging Face. Maybe the idea with the model being much more efficient is that there won't be a need for that, uh, since there are already quantizations that in theory will let you run Stable Diffusion 3 on a relatively small GPU, like something you know, like a 4070 Ti. But it's definitely getting interesting. And the other thing is we'll have to see if the community likes the idea of this kind of membership to gain access or not. And maybe they're actually trying to step aside from hugging face, which is a really interesting move because Amazon both supports stability AI and Amazon is also one of the biggest corporate backers of hugging face. So it'll be really interesting to see how this works. And yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know in the comments if you think this is way too expensive and what you'd even be willing to pay for uh, the Stability AI memberships that will in theory let us get access to the raw weights soon. And we have no idea how long that is, but let me know in the comments as well how long you think that'll take. 
So um, as always, I hope you learned something in this video. If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the next one.